showing you step-by-step -step how to thread your ultra feed. And we're gonna be doing so on our LSC, but the steps are the same for the LS as well. To thread the ultra feed using a cone of thread, start by running the thread through the top of the thread stand arm. Then pass the thread through one hole in the thread post. We recommend the hole that has the most direct path to the bobbin tensioner. If you're sewing with a thread spool, this thread post is where you will place your spool. Place the thread spool onto the post so that the thread spins off the spool in a clockwise direction. Otherwise, there's a risk of unscrewing the thread post if the thread spins counterclockwise. So whether you're using a cone of thread or a spool, the threading path will be the same from this point on. Pass the thread through the pigtail of the bobbin tensioner. Carry the thread down beneath the bobbin tensioner and loop it through the ear holes going down through the rightmost hole. Then skip the middle hole and bring the thread around the front and down again through the leftmost hole. Now we will carry it further down to the upper tension knob. Make sure the foot is raised at this point so that the disc in the tensioner will be open, allowing the thread to pass through. Loop the thread down and around the tensioner, being careful to catch the hook spring end with the thread as you come around. To make sure the thread gets trapped in the hook of the tension assembly, Grab onto the thread path at the spool post and apply tension so that the thread is taut. When you pull your free thread end up, it will snap into place in the tension assembly hook. Next, pass the thread through the take-up arm from right to left, and then under the end cover. Make sure that the thread goes behind the small metal pip when you do so. Lastly, pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide hole, down through the needle eye from left to right, and then down through the cutout in the presser foot. At this point, you are ready to pick up the bobbin thread. Hold the needle thread loosely to the right. Grab the top of the balance wheel and rotate toward the front of the machine until the needle moves down and then back up. As the needle nears its highest point, pull the needle thread gently. The bobbin thread should come up through the needle hole with the needle thread in the form of a loop. You can pass a small tool, we're just gonna be using a screwdriver, under the presser foot to pull the thread out of the way from the machine. If your thread didn't come up with this movement, check to make sure that you have about five to six inches of loose bobbin thread and then repeat these steps. Now you're ready to sew. Here's a wider view of the path that the thread will take. 